welcome back to the crypto realm. All right, Ethereum holders, you got your rewards March 2023. Ethereum developers target March 2023 for Shanghai hard fork. Users will be able to withdraw their staked Ether and applicable, applicable rewards after the upgrade goes live. According to a discussion at the 151st Ethereum core developers meeting on December 8th, Core programmers have set a tentative deadline of March 2023 for Ethereum Shanghai hard fork. In addition, developers were aimed for May or June to launch the Ethereum Improvement Protocol EIP4844 upgrade that will introduce proto dank sharding to the network. Although the much anticipated proof of stake merge upgrade was completed on September 15th, staked Ether is currently locked on the Ethereum beacon chain. The token is created by decentralized finance protocol Lido with close to 3.5 million staked ETH in circulation. After the Shanghai upgrade, staked ETH users can withdraw their funds along with any applicable staking rewards for validating network transactions. The Ethereum Foundation said that it structured the upgrades in, the, in this manner to simplify and maximize focus on a successful transition to proof of stake. After the hard fork, the EIP 4844 upgrade is designed to introduce a new data blob transaction prototype previously invented by developers on February 21st, 2022. Currently, Layer 2 technologies such as optimistic rollups can move Ethereum computation and network storage off-chain to improve scalability by 10 times to 100 times. Developers anticipate that introducing large portable bundles that can contain cheaper data in Ethereum transactions can improve the capacity of rollups by up to 100%. However, while the upgrade will lower the transaction, transaction fees on Layer 2 solutions, it will not affect Ethereum gas fees. Ugh. It's brutal. <laughs> so here's a tweet by Proto.E. At, at Ethereum Denver, we hacked together a full data blob transaction prototype, aka mini dank sharding. Data blobs are the first milestone towards full Ethereum sharding, enabling rollups like Optimism PPC to grow 100 times in capacity. Here's a tweet thread about the prototype. So you can read, I'll leave a link in the description. You can look through all the links that people are, like all what everybody's saying here. All right, so last December, Ethereum co founder Vitalik Buterin shared that this end game was for the blockchain to act as a simple base layer with users fully comfortable storing their assets in a ZK zero knowledge roll up running roll up running a full EVM Ethereum virtual machine. Buterin also warned that sharding and data availability availability sampling are complex technologies and would take years of audits and refinement to implement. Holy. So we're not done yet with all these upgrades and the Ethereum scaling problem is probably going to be there for a little bit longer. So you have to realize if you're going to take your Ethereum, Ethereum NFTs and cross bridge them, move them around, do things with them, they're going to cost you a lot of money, a lot of money. Even just moving from one thing to another will cost you a lot of money. Like you may think it's easy to put like wrapped Ethereum onto like immutable X and like you can start doing your stuff, but it will cost you to put it on there and it will cost you to take it off. That's the biggest problem with Ethereum, the transaction fees. All right, so this is the crypto realm. Thank you for watching. Play hard, trade smart.